Radio Wales. It's 20 past nine. Lovely to have your company this morning. Now, a few years ago, if you'd heard this, who would you have thought of? He was Pavarotti's for a while, wasn't it? Not anymore. It doesn't belong to him anymore. It belongs to Paul Potts. He's with us now. Hi there, Paul. Good morning. Lovely well, to see you. And your wife, Jules. Good to see you Welcome, too. Welcome, Jules. Hi. Wow, I mean, singing that song on Britain's Got Talent, it seems like ages ago to us who have watched your career progress. Does it seem like ages ago to you or does it seem like yesterday? Um, a bit of both, really, because yeah. so, so much has happened in the last two and a bit years. And um, just this last, literally just the last month, I've been to South America, Japan, so Peru, Colombia, Japan, and then I've just come back from a tour in uh, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. So, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, it's it's it still boggles my mind. I can tell you, and it's um, <laughs> and you know, I, and all because you know, I did a show called Britain's Got Talent, and the people of Britain and here in Wales, in particular, gave me their support, and it's something that I'm I, I've never stopped being grateful for. You know, you only get an opportunity like this you know, once in a lifetime. And it's all a long way from the Bridge End car phone warehouse, isn't it, really? <laughs> Just slightly. <laughs> I mean, Jules, do you, do you get to go on all these gigs? Do you, do you travel or are you like Mrs Tom Jones? Do you steadfastly <laughs> yeah, stay at home and refuse well, to go? Well, I wish I could stay at home a bit more often, but I go about 90% of the time, so... Just got one more week and then I've got a long stint off. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got the UK tour starting tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. This is your last day of freedom for ages. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I start up in Newcastle um, tomorrow night. We're going up on the train later on, and um, then we're we're back down back down this way. And we're, we have the option of staying in a hotel here in Cardiff, and I'm thinking, well, we only live. What, 25 miles down the road, we'll, we'll stay at home. Oh, you can't beat your own bed. <laughs> you can't not. beat your own bed. I mean, what about that when you're away and you're travelling and having the, the, the life of a, a superstar? Is it, is it really nice to get back to your own bed and to get back home to Bridgend? Absolutely. I mean, I, we've, we've had three nights in our own bed and that, I think that's the, well, that's the first time I've actually spent time in my own bed <laughs> for the last seven weeks. So it's, um, it's, it's nice to see wonderful places, but it's always great to come home. And do you actually get to see the places? I mean, you mentioned Japan, South America, all the places you've been recently, or is it just a kind of going in, working and, and coming away again? Um, it, it's what you make it. Mm. I, I, I think that you have to take the opportunity to see as much as you can um, because you never, ever know when you're going to be back. And it, it's, it's quite striking when you see different things. So when I was in Peru just over a month ago, it was interesting seeing the... Um, the Inca Temple and in, in the centre in, in, in the centre of Lima, and um, the coastline around there is literally just a, a desert that just meets the sea. And it's incredible what you can see if you make the effort. And so you do have to make an effort a, a lot of the time because you you are in a studio a lot of the time or in, in a concert hall. And um, but I always I always make the effort because you never know when you're going to be back in a place. Jules' favourite destination so far out of this long itinerary of all the places you visited. Ooh. That's a hard run. We quite like New Zealand. Because? And, um, well, it's just really nice. It's the countryside and obviously the sheep. <laughs> looks quite well. like it's home. Like, it looks feels looks like, like home. home. You'd have to enjoy the sheep, wouldn't you? <laughs> Better weather. <laughs> um, Sydney is very, very nice as well. And New York's really. There are three places know. I've never been. No, nor me. Gotta go. Yeah. So, Jules, I wonder what the transformation in your life has been from your point of view. I mean, for Paul, it's been incredible, hasn't it? But, but mm -hmm. it, it must have transformed your life too. It has, in a way, because obviously we're spending a lot more time together now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, man. <laughs> you're, still, you're still getting on. That, that's, that's a step. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's just different for me because I've never been sort of in the world of opera and yeah. singing apart from taking him to rehearsals. So all the travelling is a huge difference because I'm used to staying at home and hanging out with my friends and family. You used to, used to sing in the car? Yeah, well, that's different. <laughs> Everybody sings in the car. I mean, does someone like you need grounding? Uh, I mean, the, the world of music and entertainment can so easily take people to a, a very different place, sometimes a false place where you're mm. surrounded by lots of people who 
aren't your natural friends, if I can put it like that. <laughs> um, well, I, I think you always have to be yourself, no matter what happens in your life. You have to be yourself because the person that's got to live with you the most is your is yourself. Oh, and me. if you or, or, or the wife, yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I think you end up having to, you know, if you, if you end up allowing what life throws at you to change who you are, you end up getting very confused. And, um, you, you know, if, if a bubble, if, 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 you, if you create a bubble and it bursts, you, you've got nowhere to go but fall. Mm, I just wonder what it must be like. I mean, you've been on the Oprah show, the Oprah Winfrey show for the second time now, haven't you? Mm. Do you, do you? You must sometimes think, pinch me, somebody. Is this really me? Every morning. Every morning it's like that. You know, it's just really surreal, you know. I, I, three years ago, if anybody told me that I'd be doing what I'm doing now, while well, I was selling mobile phones down in Bridgend, I'd have just told them they were crazy. Um, and it just shows how life can change because, you know, I, I went for that audition, literally on the basis of a flip of a coin. And literally, and you just to, to walk in and perform for the very last time. I never thought I'd be singing after that. And yet, now, here I am, you know, just starting the UK tour, really looking forward to, to returning to the, the the international arena here in Cardiff as well. And um, it, it's great to be back in the UK and spend a bit more time in the UK again. Stay with us. We'll talk much more in a couple of minutes. Paul Potts is here and his other half, Jules. More from them in just a few moments. Jamie and Louise with you on BBC Radio Wales, 27 minutes past nine.